السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another episode of Abu Najma with the kids with me Najma So welcome guys, we are at Alamin Kitusuru We are at Alamin Kitusuru With the grade twos, show them number two, number two, number two Great twos, Masha Allah. So the great twos are here today. How are you guys? Fine. You're okay? Yeah. You had your break? Yeah. All of you? Yeah. So, let me see. Let me start with a question. I see if the food has gone to the right place. Now, how many prophets do we have in, in the Quran? How many, men how many prophets are mentioned in the Quran? Peaky, peaky. Yes. Yes. Twelve. The twelve prophets mentioned the Quran. Who knows? Yes. Twenty-five. Twenty-five prophets. Twenty-five prophets, right? Okay. So can we say the names of the twenty-five prophets? Adam, Idris, No, Hud, Saad, uh -huh. Ibrahim, Lut, Ismail. Yaqub, Yusuf, Ayyub, Musa, Harun, Dhul Kifli, Dawood, Suleiman, Ilyas, Alias, Aha, Yunus, Zakaria, Yahya, Wa Akhirul, Khatimul, Anbiya, Muhammad, Al Mustafa. Very good. So today we're going. I'm going to tell you the story about a brave prophet. A brave. Prophet. You know what's the meaning of brave? Yes. How many of you are brave? Oh, mashallah! Even girls are brave. Yes. How many boys are brave? How many boys are not brave? Oh, how many girls are brave? How many girls are not brave? How many girls are strong? How many boys are strong? How many boys eat ugali? How many girls eat ugali? How many girls eat chips? How many girls eat chicken? How many boys eat chapati? Oh, mashallah, very good. Now, this prophet of Allah, he was very, very brave. He was very, very brave. And he was confident. He was? Can you show me your confident face? He was confident and he believed in himself and he was a brave prophet. And this prophet of Allah, the Prophet wasallam, he said that the best prayer was the prayer of this prophet. The best prayer was the prayer of this? Prophet. He's called Prophet Dawood. He's called Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. So Dawood alayhi salam, he belonged to the tribe of the Bani Israel. The tribe of the Bani Israel. Have you ever heard of the Bani Israel? Yes. Okay, tell me which other prophet was sent to the Bani Israel? Yes? Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad? No, not Prophet Muhammad. Yes? Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. Yes? Ibrahim alayhi salam. Yes? Yaqub, yes, Musa, very good, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, and his brother, yes, and his brother, Harun alayhi salam. So Musa and Harun were sent to the Bani Israel, isn't it? Yes. So this prophet, Dawood came before Musa or after Musa, Nabi Musa? Before Nabi Musa or after? After. After Nabi Musa, isn't it? So after Nabi Musa, the next prophet that was sent to the Bani Israel was Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. Now the Bani Israel, at this time, they didn't have a prophet. They thought that Allah is not, they didn't have any prophet who was leading them. They didn't have a leader. They didn't have a king. They didn't have a president. They had nothing. And the Bani Israel, they were exhausted by the wars they had fought. They were tired. Every time they're having enemies, enemies are coming to attack them. Every time, every time, every time. And so they got tired. They're like, oh man, we're so tired. 
we're tired, ya Allah. Please give us someone, someone who is a messenger and someone who is going to be a leader and someone who is going to be a prophet for them. So they sent their messenger and they told him, why don't you choose for us a leader? You, know, you can choose for us a leader. You know, you're very, you're very sensible, you're very mature and you can choose for us someone who can be our leader, who can be like our king. Someone we can look up to because as we are tired, every time we're having enemies who are coming to us and they're attacking us one by one. So we're tired. We need you to send someone who can be our leader. So they chose, the messenger chose someone who was called Talut. Who was called who? Talut. Talut. And Talut, he was not a prophet and he was not anyone special. And he could not do any miracles. He was just a normal person. He was just a human being, a normal person. And so when Talut was chosen as the king, as the leader, some of the Bani Israel, they became rebellious. They rebelled against Talut. They said, as we don't want this leader, why are you choosing him, Talut? Choose someone else. We don't want him. Now, in class, when you're choosing a prefect, you vote for them, isn't it? Do you guys vote? You say, hey, we want team girls. Who is team guy? We want Hafsa. How many people want Hafsa? Me. And we have someone else. And you have elections. And you vote. And the person who is chosen becomes the winner, isn't it? And those who lost, what happened to those who lose? What happens to those people who lose? The person who lost, they're supposed to follow the, the leader who is chosen, isn't it? Or do they say, we don't want to get out of here, go out of our class? No. So the Bani Israel, some of them, they rebelled against Talut. And they said, we don't want Talut to be our king. Why are you choosing Talut? And they asked, how are we going to know that Talut is a good king, that he's going to be the chosen leader? How do we know? Because they don't know Talut. Who knows about Talut? They don't know about Talut. So they said, how do we know that Talut is going to be a just king? He's going to be the leader for all of us. So they said that, inna ayata mulkihi, at-tabut. Now you know Tabut. Tabut is the chest of Nabi Musa. The chest of Nabi Musa that had the covenants of Nabi Musa, the rules of the Bani Israel. So they said if the Tabut comes afterwards, this person who is carrying the Tabut is going to be Talut. So it means that you guys have to be under the rule of who? Of Talut. Now the Bani Israel went ahead. And Allah decided to test them. Allah decided to test them. Now at this time, the Bani Israel were facing an enemy. They were facing an This enemy was called Jalut. He was called who? Jalut. And Jalut was big and mighty and strong and tall and big and fierce and scary like the Hulk. You know the Hulk? You know the Hulk is very big. And very tall. And, but the Hulk is real or fake? It's a fake Hulk, isn't it? But Jalut was real. He was so, so big. And the Bani Israel was scared in their hearts. Their hearts was pumping like this. Do, do, do. Because Jalut is coming for them. And they were very scared because they didn't have the kind of weapons that Jalut has. Jalut has a strong army. They have all kinds of weapons. And the Bani Israel, at this time, I told you, they're tired of wars. They got exhausted. They're fighting one after, one after another, one after another fight. They're fighting and fighting and fighting. So now Allah decides to test them. So there is an enemy who is coming. Jalut is coming for them. What do they have to do? Talut, because he's the leader, he's supposed to set up his army, isn't it? Supposed to say, okay, where are my strong men? Come over here. Huh? Show me if you are a strong man. How do they look like? Have a lot of strength. They say, okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you guys come. So they made an army. They're going to face Jalut. And Jalut is waiting for them. And everyone who was hearing about Jalut, everyone who knew Jalut, they knew this was a dangerous man. No one could go close to him because he was very strong and very big and very fierce. You could not defeat Jalut easily. You had to be extra, extra strong and more fierce than him for you to, for you to defeat him. So Allah told them that, 
Talut because he is their king, he is their leader. They were told they are going to pass a river. They are going to pass a, a river. As they go for the war, because they used to travel with the camels and the horses, they didn't used to have the, the, big, the big weapons, for the big cars for travel. They don't have cars. They don't have the big tanks. So now they use camels and horses. And the sun is very, very hot. Remember, it's in the desert. This is in the, the desert. And the sun is very hot. And they're going to fight a big person, a big enemy, the strongest of the enemies. So now they go. And Talut tells them that we are going to pass a river. And in this river, no one is allowed to drink from this river. So now I am Talut and you are my army, you are my people. And I tell you, hey guys, listen, we're going to pass a river. So when we pass this river, no drinking from this river. Even if someone is very thirsty, even if you're, you're feeling sweaty and you want to pour yourself some water and you want to drink something and the sun is very, very hot and you're very, very tired, you're not allowed to drink from this river. So Talut said, whoever is going to drink from this river is out of my team. So it's two things. It's either you stay away from drinking this water and you'll be on my team and whoever drinks from this river is out of my team because he is the commander. He's the one who is ruling them. So you have to listen to your commander, isn't it? So Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah that, فَلَمَّا فَصَلَ تَعْلُوتُ بِالْجُنُودِ قَالَ إِنَّ اللَّهَ مُبْتَلِيكُمْ بِنَهَرٍ فَمَنْ شَرِبَ مِنْهُ فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever drinks from this river is not from me. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَطْعَمْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي And the one who is going to listen to me, is going to be part of my team. Now, guess what? Most of the army, most of the people drank from that river. Most of them, not a few of them, most of them. Because Allah says, فَشَرِبُوا فَشَرِبُوا مِنْهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا Most of them, a, a huge group of them, went and drank in that river. And only a few people listened to Talut. Only one or two or three or four or five people listened to Talut. The rest of them, they went and drank from that river. They went and drank from the river. And what were they told? What were they told? فَمَنْ شَرِبَ مِنْهُ فَلَيْسَ مِنِّي Whoever goes and drinks from that river is out of my team. X, now you go away. You're out of the game. Hey, go away. Bye-bye. Masalam, you don't listen. Go away. And those who were good and were obedient to Talut, their king, they listened to him. Now, who is waiting for them on the other side? Jalut. Jalut. Because they are a few in number now, they are going to face a big enemy who are more in number. And so when they look back, they say, we're only a few of us left. We're like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six of us were going to face Jalut and his huge army, how are we going to win against them? How are we going to win against Jalut? Do you think they're going to win? Yes. No, because Jalut has such a huge army. Do you think they're going to win this, this battle? Yes. Do you think they're going to win this battle? Yes. How many people think they're going to win? How many think they're going to lose? Because they're few. Me think they're going to lose. They're few in number. May, small, a small group of people, are they going to defeat a, group, a big group of people? No. So we are going for a short break. We'll be back and find out what is going to happen in the battlefield. Okay, let's take a short break. <laughs> Welcome back after the short break. So uh, we are in the battlefield. Are you in the battlefield? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Why is Team Talut? Why is Team Talut? Where is Team Jalut? Ah, even me, I'm in Team Jalut. Jalut is big. You guys, Jalut is big. We're going to win you. Jalut is big. Okay, so now listen to what happened. Now listen to what happened. Now Talut is left with a few people. The people who listen to him. The people who are obedient to their leaders. Because we are supposed to be obedient to our leaders, isn't it? Yes, when, when a leader is chosen, when you have a prefect in class, when the prefect says, don't talk, don't talk. You listen to them because they are our, our leaders. 
So now Talut looks back. And the other members, the other people from the army, those who are going to fight Jalut. And they see, we are only a few of us. We're like, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Today, we are going to be finished. Today, halas, Jalut is going to smash us to the ground. We are only a few people. What is going to happen to us? So now, Allah says that um, the people who are with Talut, they started losing hope. They were like, now see guys, we're only a few of us. How are we going to defeat Jalut? And Jalut is so big. He has such a strong army. What are we going to do now, Talut? They started having doubts. They started being scared. They started doubting themselves like we could, we could lose this battle, isn't it? And remember, they have families. They could be killed. The land is going to be taken. Their life is at stake now. What is going to happen? So now, قال الذين يظنون أنهم ملاق الله كم من فئة قليلة غلبت فئة كثيرة. Now Allah says something very beautiful. He says that how many people? They were a small group in number, and they fought against a, a huge army, people who were so many, and they won. That means that they shouldn't lose hope in themselves, isn't it? Just because we are five people against a thousand people, we are going to win, right? Because Allah is on our side. Because Allah is on our, our side. Because when Allah is on your side, it doesn't matter how many people are coming to attack you. Because Allah is going to protect you. You remember also in the battle of Badr, how many were the Muslims? There were 300, isn't it? And the Quraysh, a thousand. And who won the battle? The Muslims. The Muslims won the battle of Badr. And the Muslims were few in number. And Allah gave them victory. Because if Allah is on your side, Allah is going to give you victory, right? So, Nabi Daw. Talut is there and they face Jalut and because Jalut is very big and strong he makes big steps if he makes one step the ground shakes like this because he's very big like an ogre his feet is very big and his hands big and he has big muscles and very tall and a big chest and strong and he has weapons so now Talut is there with his people and Jalut steps forward. And now it's time for wrestling. It's time for? Wrestling. For wrestling. Who is going to win now? So Jalut gets in the ring and asks, ha, who is going to face me now? Who amongst you people think can fight me? Huh, let me see you, 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 you. So the Bani Israel, they're standing there. They're like, who is going to go first? They're all scared to go first. They're like, hey, you, go, go, go. I say, ah, oh, no, no. I say, say, hey, you, go, go first. I say, ah, oh, no, 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 no. They say, you, go, go, go. Don't be scared. So they push each other. They say, ah, oh, 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 no, 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 no. They are scared. And so a small boy comes from the crowd. And he said, hey, excuse me, make way, make way for me. Hello, excuse me, excuse me. And he makes his way to the front. And they say it is. Dawood, small Dawood. Dawood at this time is not a prophet, he's not a king, he's not a leader, he's just a small boy. So Prophet Dawood makes his way out of the crowd. And the people are saying, the Bani Israel are talking. And like, hey, what is it? Dawood, come back, come back. You want to be killed? Ah, come back. You, Dawood, are you crazy? You're going to fight Jalut. Hey, hey, come, come, come. Don't go there. You see Jalut, the way is very big. He's going to smash your head to the ground. Don't go there. Come, come, come. And so Dawood doesn't listen to anything. He doesn't listen to anyone. He's confident and he's brave. He's telling himself, huh, you guys, you guys keep quiet. You don't know what I'm You keep quiet. This Jalut, all of you are scared of this Jalut. And Dawood is very small. And Jalut is big. Jalut is looking at Dawood like this. Hey, you, come here, you little boy. Hey, you, come here. And the wood is not scared of anyone. So Jalut says, what, you, Ben Israel? Is this all you've got? Oh, you guys, you're not Is this all you've got? You're bringing for me a small boy over here. You want this small boy to fight me? I'm very big. 
and strong. I could even pick him up like this, like a piece of paper, and throw him in the trash. And the wood is not scared. And he has with him one weapon. Just one weapon. He has a slingshot on his hand. Just one slingshot. Not a big slingshot, a small slingshot. And he carries the slingshot and he aims at Jalut. Says, ha, ah, where are you, Jalut? Ah, they, wait, wait, let me show you people. You don't know what I'm going to do today. So he takes the slingshot and he puts the rock and he aims it at Jalut. Says, ha, ah, you, Jalut, you think you're very big, huh? Wait, let me show you. And Jalut is there like, ah, no, what's wrong? Yeah, you, can you bring for me someone else? This boy, I'm going to smash. He doesn't know who he's fighting with. And he takes out his slingshot and he aims. And he says, hmm, should I start with the eyes or the head or the ears or his chest or his stomach or his legs? He's looking. Now the Bani Israel, some other people, they say, hey, Dawood, don't do that. Yo, this man is going to kill you. Come, Dawood, don't, don't go there. Come, come, come back. And so he releases the rock from the slingshot. And the rock goes and goes and goes and it falls on Jalut's forehead. And Jalut falls down on the ground. There's a huge bang on the ground and a big smoke of dust comes up and he falls down. And the people are like, what just happened here? This small Dawood has made this big Jalut to fall down on the ground. Uh, 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 uh. This boy is dangerous. This boy. But that's not the end. They thought maybe Jalut is going to wake up. Because are you going to fall down with just one rock on your head? No. You can't, isn't it? It's just a small piece of stone. Can, you, can it make you fall down? No. And die? No. Now people are waiting for the smoke of dust to finish in the air. And everyone is keeping quiet. They're like, Let's see what is happening. Is he going to wake up? The Bani Israel are scared for themselves because if Jalut is going to wake up, oh, Jalut is going to finish all of them. And they see if Jalut is going to wake up. And there is blood on Jalut's forehead. And the Bani Israel said, hey guys, come see. There is blood. He said, what? There is blood on his head. No, 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 no. Ah, me, I want to see for myself. Everyone is gathering around to see. And they see there is blood on his forehead. And Jalut's men go and touch him and see if he's, he's like, hey, Jalut, wake up. Wake up, big buddy. Why are you sleeping on the floor? Hey, wake up. And he doesn't wake up. He's quiet. People are starting to talk. What is happening? Hey, where is this big man? Dawood, where is Dawood? Oh, Dawood, you better run away. You are finished. If Jalut wakes up, oh, 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 you are finished. You have to run away. And they wait. And Dawood's just there, huh, waiting for the good news. Because he knows, oh, this big man, everyone is scared of him. And Jalut is pronounced that he is dead. Hey, how? The wood, small the wood, has hit big Jalut with a stone and now Jalut is dead. What is this? And they are shocked. They are shocked. They're like, what? Is he really, 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 really dead? They're like, no, they called the experts, the doctors. They're like, hey guys, check him, check him. Maybe he's not dead. Check his pulse. And it is true that Jalut died. And when the Bani Israel realized that Nabi Dawood has killed Jalut, that Jalut is dead, that their enemy is finished. Oh, oh, oh. Can you imagine how happy they were? They were very, very happy. And they took the wood and they said, Yay! The wood, the wood, the wood. And they take Nabi the wood and they throw him up in the sky. They're like, Yay! Look at our boy, our small boy, the wood. They start laughing and say, Small boy, the wood has defeated Big Jalut. <laughs> you guys. And Jalut's army, what do you think happened to them? They ran away because they're like, uh -uh, These people. We thought they were a very small number. We're going to defeat them. What happened? They have defeated us. And now Prophet Dawood is there, Basla. <laughs> you people, you tell me not to go and defeat Jalut. Now I have defeated him. Now they're saying, Dawood, Dawood. Everyone is talking about Dawood. They're saying, oh, 
you know that small boy the who he defeated that big jalo they're like what those people who need to go now now you know in the market the people they talk the women are saying ah that small boy defeated jalo they say yes that small boy the who he defeated jalo and that is when nabi dawood alayhi salam began to become a leader and people loved prophet dawood and later on allah gave him prophethood allah gave him prophethood now you see nabi dawood alayhi salam he was very brave isn't it if he was not brave would he have gone in front of jalut no now sometimes when you're in class and the teacher writes down a hard math sum on the board and he asks who is going to solve this everyone is scared no. everyone is scared to put up their hand and when someone goes and puts up the hand and smashes that math sum and then we say wow mashallah you have to be confident you have to be confident no one should tell you you cannot do this you have to be confident like prophet dawood alayhi salam and jalut can you imagine now even today everyone is talking about how dawood defeated jalut and jalut is big you did not expect this isn't it because jalut is the one who is supposed to have defeated dawood alayhi salam so we learn that what do you think what are the lessons that we learn from this story who can tell me yes the first one mashallah we have to be brave can you show me your brave face have to be brave yes ah uh, what else what else do we learn from this story yes to be confident you have to be brave you have to be confident what else yes yes you forgotten yes you have to be strong what about our leaders what should we do to our leaders yes we should respect our leaders isn't it you should respect your leaders and listen to your leaders uh, yes follow the leader isn't it yes very good mashallah now let me ask you a question prophet dawood alayhi salam he was sent to which people let me ask the girls the girls the girls which people yes the bani israel oh, mashallah girls have 5000 chicken wings Yay! okay let me ask the boys between prophet dawood and prophet musa who came first who came first yes prophet musa alayhi salam is that true is that true yes it is nabi musa alayhi salam very good boys have do drum rolls Boys have 5000 Anjero <laughs> Okay so we've come to the end of our program this week so I want us to say ma salam to the kids at home let's tell them ma salam ma salam See you guys next week. See you guys next week. Inshallah. Inshallah. On Horizon TV. On Horizon TV. From Alamin Academy. From Alamin Academy. Hey, do some poses from Alamin Academy. <laughs> In Kitu Suru. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Abu Najma with kids We learn Quran We learn Quran We learn Quran We learn Quran We learn hadith We learn hadith We learn hadith We learn hadith We learn the duas We learn the duas We learn the duas We learn the duas We love our prophet We love a prophet. We love a prophet. We love a prophet. Pa pa ra pa ra, pa pa ra pa ra, pa pa ra pa ra. Abu Najma with kids.